Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up uTorrent to optimize your upload and download speeds. Um, so first off you want to download uTorrent so just uh, use your favorite search engine for and search for uTorrent and then download it. It's pretty straightforward uh, installation. Just basically next next through it. There's two options you can choose. You can choose to install the uTorrent toolbar in your browser and these days they bundle it with um, a free download. You can choose yes you want to or no you don't want to download it once uh, the installation is complete. So uh, do whatever you want with those two. Uh, the next thing you want to do is download the TCP uh, IP optimizer. This will change your TCP IP.sys uh, file and you can get that from speedguide.net. Go to downloads and then here the SG TCP uh, optimizer. Just download it, uh, open that up, it's a portable program and then all you have to do here is choose your upload and download uh, connection as advertised by your uh, ISP or internet service provider. So mine is advertised as 6 megabytes per second after that we want to choose the optimal settings and then you can just click apply changes and then OK that. Some registry changes may require a reboot and just click yes to that. And it will restart your computer. So I'll uh, get back to you when that's done. OK, so when, the, when your computer's restarted, your tcpip.sys file will have been patched and the number of half open connections will have increased to whichever number it gave you. After that we want to go to uh, connections and you want to choose a port which is between 60,000 and 50,000. Uh, I just click on random until I get such a port. So it would be 55,600 would be the port that I'm going to be using for um, my uTorrent. I want to remember this number so write it down somewhere because later on you want to do port forwarding on your router to make sure you get uh, the maximum amount of speed that you can so you would open this port for uTorrent. Uh, I won't show you in this tutorial how to do port forwarding unless I have time at the end uh, but I'll probably make a separate tutorial on port forwarding. Untick randomized port each time because you want to keep this the same so that your port forwarding is correct all the time. Then you want to go to bandwidth and you can see I've set it up a little bit here already. Uh, for the maximum upload rate uh, you want to calculate this. So first off you want to go into your favorite search engine and you can type in speed test and speedtest.net seems to be the one most people use. Just uh, choose a server closest to you which should have a low ping and then run the test with that server. If you're not sure you can double check it with a different server make sure they, they're similar. If they're not just choose something in between. Uh, then you'll get a upload speed or a, and a download speed. Uh, we're going to be concentrating on the download speed for this one because we are going to fill in the maximum upload rate in killer bytes per second. To work something out, okay, you have uh, different speeds it might give you. It might give you kilobits per second, which means it'll have a small b. And if you have that, you want to divide the number by 8 to give you kilobytes per second. If it's megabits per second, you want to multiply by 125 to get kilobit, uh, kilobytes per second. And for megabytes, you want to multiply it by 1000 to get kilobytes per second. Once you've done that, you want to choose roughly 75 to 80 percent of the maximum capacity. You don't want to max out your bandwidth with uTorrent. You want to be able to use your computer while you're downloading for surfing and so on. So I generally use 75 percent for my download speed and 80 percent for my upload speed. So these are my speeds for upload and download. So basically all I have to do is copy and paste or just fill in my maximum uh, download rate in kilobytes per second here. You can if you want uh, 
uh, alternate the upload rate when not downloading, so you'd probably increase it to whatever number you want, but still make sure it's not 100% because that would still uh, max out your, your bandwidth or your upload bandwidth. Then down here for number of connections, the maximum number of connections I generally choose is 256 for my uh, internet speed and per torrent I use 72 and the number of upload slots I use 4. I found this uh, works best, it gives me the highest upload rates and the highest download rates. Uh, if you put two higher numbers in here, it's actually going to slow down your downloads and uploads, so choose them wisely. Also you want to make sure it's divided by 8, so you can divide it by 8 and get a whole number. That's why I use 256 and 72. You can also use something like 512, 1024 and so on. And if uh, my upload slots, uh, if my upload speed is below 90%, I want uh, additional upload slots. Okay, so if it's under 90% of this here, I want a couple of extra people to be able to connect. That still uh, stays within the 80% um, of the capacity I gave it to. Then everything else. Uh, the only thing you have to change with the BitTorrent is the protocol encryption. You want to enable that and leave the rest as is. Then in advanced, you want to go down to net uh, max half open and I changed this to the same number I chose for the global maximum number of connections. You can increase this uh, to what the TCP IP patcher gave you, but I don't see the, it's not really necessary. So that's basically uTorrent setup, okay that. Uh, there are some more options, uh, for instance directory, you can choose where you're going to download your files to, and if they're complete you can move them to a completed folder. It just keeps everything a little bit more organized, so I would recommend you set that up. Um, then in UI settings, I also like alternate list background color. So if I have more than one download, it's just easier to keep track of uh, the speeds and so on of each uh, download. So if you like me, you like your Linux distributions, and every time something new comes out, you have to download and test it. Sometimes you have maybe four or five torrents going at the same time. So this just helps you, uh, it keeps it organized and clean, I guess. Uh, other than that, transfer cap, if you have a limit of say 10 gigabytes a month that you can download and if you go over that you have to pay extra you can probably or you would probably want to limit your uTorrent usage to a little bit less than that so nine and a half gigs and that should give you plenty of uh, playing room for checking out emails and so on if you play games then you want maybe five gigs and you can use five gigs for playing games online so on Queuing, uh, again, sorry I forgot to mention this before, with the queuing settings, maximum number of active torrents, don't set this too high. You, you do have a limit, as we saw in the bandwidth, to how many people or how many uploads, sorry, or the upload rate, if you, upload and download rate, sorry. If you screw this up to maybe 15 and your uh, maximum download rate uh, is hundred you can divide a uh, hundred kilobytes per second by 15 and that's what each person is going to be getting so don't set it too high um, if you have a higher speed connection than I have you can by all means set this up to 10 and 7 or so on but my internet connection is not so fast so I'll, uh, 3 and 2 works fine for me so I have two downloads one upload and with the seeding goal, I screw that up to 350%. Don't forget, the more people seed, the quicker everybody can download. This is a simple fact of torrenting. If everybody just turned off their seeding, and only the initial seed would be sharing the uh, data that they have, then nobody's going to be getting it anytime soon. So the more you seed, the quicker you can download as well, uh, because everybody should be doing it. Um, then minimum seed limit in minutes you can leave that on zero and zero. 
Uh, once you've reached your 350, you can either turn off the torrent so it will stop seeding, or you can limit it to the speed, so maybe uh, 20, 30 kilobytes per second or so on. Uh, those are all of the settings done. So I'll give you, I'll give you a, a separate tutorial on port forwarding. I hope this helps some of you, and as always, take care, and I hope you enjoyed watching.